These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right, what's up, everybody? It's Grim Green back here today, and you well released a leak-proof pod called the Dylan. It uses an electromagnetic shield to protect your coil head from liquid. Let's get into it. Like they just named this Dylan, like after someone named Dylan. Oh, oh, you're thick. Oh, you're thicker than I thought you was gonna be, you well. Pod, two and a half mils, the battery, 900 ma, and it is crazy super lightweight. I got a 0 0.6 coil and a 0 0.9 coil. The 0 0.6 is the included coil, so I'm gonna go for this 0 0.9 coil. I'm gonna fill this up with some guava jelly as I do, so I, I'm gonna try to see what's in, what's going on inside of here. I can't quite tell. It looks like there's plastic, it looks like there's magnets. I can't get into this pod in any capacity, so it's all a mystery, and it all apparently happens automatically. Electromagnetic pod sheet. Get out of here. UL, Profox, there's the filling. There's something in there. There is quite literally nothing to this battery. I need you to see this. When I put this coil head in here, the little thing in there, that little whatever, it, it dances, does a little dance. Whoop, whoop. Did you see that little spinning action? What is that doing? Bleep, bloop. This is Grim Green from about two weeks into the future, and I do need to show you how this thing works. There's a little cylinder on the inside, a little column around the coil head that closes and opens the little window on your coil head that lets the juice in. And I know they say this thing is leak proof, but that's nothing that I would consider leaking, but that is clearly e-liquid on the bottom of this coil head. And if we look way down in there on the little magnet, there's a little bit of e-liquid down there too. Now that is weeks of use and not anything I would really consider leaking, but I'm gonna drop this coil head in here. We're gonna watch that door open and close and then stay open because it always stays open the first time that you drop the coil head in. Open, closed, open, closed, open. It's open. My God, I wish this were easier to see, but you can kind of see after I take a drag, it's gonna slide that door shut. Shut, the door's shut right now. No liquid's getting to the coil. If I take a drag, you can see it open it up and then slide shut a few seconds later. It stays open for like two to three seconds after you take a drag to allow the coil head to resaturate with liquid. And I'll say right now, I have not had a dry hit yet. All right, that's it from me. Let's go back to two weeks ago, normal view guy, go. Okay, here we go, Dylan. So I'm just gonna take a toot and see what magic happens. Let's go. I mean, the flavor's really good. I legitimately cannot tell if this is even doing anything right now. It's literally just supposed to prevent leaking. That's all. It doesn't serve any other purpose than to prevent leaking. Let's see if this prevents leaking. This is a pod review, so I go for longevity. Today is just day one. I'm gonna start using this. I don't know. I'll catch up with you when I catch up with you. <laughs> well, look at that. Here's me catching up with you. So here's the thing. This works just does, just works. The little shield slides every time I take a drag. Now, the Dylan does not have a puff counter on it, but using it in tandem with some other pods with puff counters, I'm gonna guess that I'm getting to or have just passed about a thousand puffs. That little electromagnetic shield does the same exact thing every single time. Drop a pod in, it stays open to saturate it. Then when I start vaping, it will open when I vape, stays open for a second after the drag, closes, stays closed until the next time I take a drag. Like I said, just works. Honestly, it's kind of magical watching this little shield pop into action. I cannot say enough good things about these UL coil heads. It's a UL coil head. They just vape good. I would be surprised, honestly, if I got a UL coil head at this point that vaped bad. This is crispy. This is flavorful. It really vary, and this might upset some people or some people might be stoked on it, but it vary because it's UL reminds me of the way that like the new G3 vapes, like that crispy, crispy ass flavor. I got really no complaints about this battery either. It's nice and lightweight. It's a thick boy. It's about 900 ma, so it seems to last a good long time. It seems like every time I look down at this, the battery is just blue. Mm. Mm. 
Red now. Now this has been going for weeks. And apart from the tiny little droplets that we saw in the up close, I haven't seen any leaking, weeping, seeping anywhere. And even the very, like, that was the tiniest microscopic little particulate of e-liquid on the bottom of this contact. I would not consider that leaking or seeping or weeping. It didn't get anywhere. It didn't get on the outside. It didn't get on the top of the pot. It didn't really get anywhere. So I wouldn't consider it like leaking. But even though this is a leak proof pod, it's still like, you know, the, the almost, it almost feels like a proof of concept. It's like, look what we can do. I like where they're going and I like what they're doing with this and addressing the issue of leaking, um, uh, you know, in pods, that's important. That is in my comments, the number one comment that everybody asks, mine leaks, this leaks, it leaks. How's it leak? Why does this leak? Does yours leak? Everything leaks. The Dylan has truly and honestly been nothing but tasty and flavorful and just really, really reliable. These newest generation of pods like here in 2024 are vaping better than things from even just two years ago. I was vaping an older Caliburn A3S as well along with this and the difference just in a few years with UL's coil heads, they're just really great now. That's the point, that's the rambling point I'm trying to make. Their coil heads are just really good now. Hands free, no big deal. Well, I'm gonna have to jump in here and say something because he doesn't for the rest of the video, but this Dylan does do that thing where I can spin the pod around and have a tight draw or a little bit more open of a draw. If the Pro Fox is facing out, that's the more open draw. That's the draw that I prefer. If the minimum line is facing out, that's the tighter draw. It's much tighter. It's still nice, but if there's an open option, I think I'm gonna go for that literally every single time. Okay, let's let's go end this video. I'm, I'm not gonna be doing another pods ranked for a little bit, but there's been some pods recently, and I'm gonna include the Dylan in that, that I think are really going to shake up the pod rankings. I could see this easily getting into the top five. If I was doing a pod ranking right now, the Dylan would be in the top five, no questions asked. And only because I saw those tiny, tiny little droplets of liquid on this, it's supposed to be leak proof, I'm gonna give this nine banana stickers. If there was no liquid on the bottom of this, this would be getting 10 banana stickers, apart from the electromagnetic technology shield that closes the coil head off from your liquid. That's cool, but also this is just a good pod. Even if it didn't have the little electromagnetic shield, this would still be a rockin' good vaping pod. I mean, the flavor on these coil heads, I don't know how UL does it. It's just really good. I can feel in my gut I'm about to start rambling about this, so I'm gonna cut myself off and say, I don't know exactly how much these cost, but I would be shocked, shocked to see them even like in the like high $30 range. If these are above $30, I would be surprised. I also can't tell you exactly where to get them because of YouTube, but I can tell you this. If you're here watching this video and you smoke combustible cigarettes, it's time to switch. I believe in you. It's literally never been easier. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market. In the description of this video, I'm gonna put some links to just science and just education. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay cigarette smoke free literally every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so. Electromagnetic shield.